First way we're gonna talk about getting off of a wide receiver's block involves the arm over, okay? The arm over. So, receiver comes, engages you, gets inside of your pads. First thing you need to do is lock his elbow. Locking his elbow locks his hips, so you're able to get outside of him. After you've locked the elbow with the opposite arm, the opposite arm, you come across and you step through as fast as you can. That locks his hips, that locks his elbow, and allows you to go around. Because what the receiver is going to do if you don't lock the if you don't lock the elbow is he's going to keep sliding with you and push you out of the play. So bringing it back, bringing it back by locking the elbow, you lock this hip, and now if he, even if he tries to stay on with you, this is going to be called holding. This getting him here. So you, you lock him right here, step around him as fast as possible, get skinny, and then you set up to go find that running back and make the tackle. All right. The second way we can get off a block is the arm under or the rip move or the rip move so again receiver engages you right here he's trying to push you out of the play again we've got to lock this elbow to lock that hip but instead of going with our arm over which sometimes can raise your hips up we'll drop our body we'll drop our hips we'll drop our weight after we've locked and sweep under here it's the same thing if you got his arms now outside of his body and if he continues with that move it's probably going to be called holding on him but at the same time, you rip under here, step behind him, get through, and get ready to make your tackle, okay? Let's take a look at it one more time. Receiver comes up, engages you, lock the hip, rip, get through, and get ready to make a tackle.